Riot announced changes to Bind. In this video, I will break down how those changes affect the actual gameplay. Welcome to Lotus Lab, and uh, well, today we're going to be talking about the map that is my favorite, Bind. But before we're going to do that, share in your reply here on the YouTube section, what map will leave the poll in your eyes when Bind is going to come back on April 25th. And now let's jump back into the actual best map of Valorant, which is Bind. Now, this is the video before the changes. This is the, uh, this is the screenshot after the changes. Well, this is pretty wild, right? This is like a huge change to how this, this map even will function because what will happen here with this change that there are a few implications right so first typically when you were att att attacking uh, showers you had like a very clear distinction on when your opponents will be right because when you play in default you might have like one opponent over here you're gonna watch watch the default you're going closer to 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 showers and even if they're gonna be a crouch from the tp it's not going to be literally next to you. Like, this changes a lot. This makes a huge difference from throwing utility as well. Let's imagine the raise is actually in long B and just drops a pain chill over here. Like, you are able to make defense on showers much better just because of that. You're able to molly through, uh, the, uh, through uh, the, the, the TP from B to A and help the defense of showers so much. So there's going to be a lot of changes when it comes to the way that, that you're going to approach showers, right? We'll also change the rotations because it cuts like two seconds from the rotations. You don't have to run that much anymore, right? So that's also a big change, right? And uh, actually, let me run Valoplant because there's something else that I was, I, I was just thinking about it. Um, so let's assume we're going to have a Viper and we're going to do a, a wall that goes from short like this. And you're going to be able to do it like that. I know this is kind of looks like bad for the showers, but like Im imagine, th because there's now there's going to be the TP over here, right? This is not the TP anymore. This is the TP. So if you do the wall like this, you are able to like pop the wall up and then push out out of the TP, go back to showers without being exposed to this area as well. Like, even at the beginning of the round, like, you can do fakes like this, you know? You can, you can, uh, let's say, uh, you, you have a Yoru, you can do the clone, and no, opponents will never know if it's true or not. Like, this, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Like, you'll be able, even if you don't want to do a Viper Wall over here, right? Because, you, you know, we might try, like, even a, 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 a smoke. You put just a smoke here instead of the, instead of the uh, Viper wall, and you're able to do fakes as well. And your opponents are still stuck over here. Like, they have to run through the barrier. Like, imagine this. The beginning of the round, smoke pops up here, and you, and you hear a, a audio from the, the TP. And you never know if there's still someone there or not. Right? It's like, it's crazy. It's crazy to me. Like, you can reposition the smoke to the left side over here. This is probably... Yeah, this is going to be better. Like, if you do the smoke like this, like here, and you do the TP sound, then you either stay in the TP or go into showers because opponents will never know. Like, you open the doors and you're like, okay, well, now what? You have no idea. Like, you can make so many weird plays. And also, I, I think the biggest change, though... I think the biggest change, though, for for this TP is the actual context of uh, the like. For example, you guys for sure remember um, how Fnatic is always doing like TP crunches, right? If when Fnatic was doing a TP crunch, if your opponents are in this area over here, right, and they do do a TP crunch, it's because you have two different directions. That's not gonna be possible anymore. If you're gonna TP your opponents will be in one direction because they were all, all going to be in this area while you do, you, you're you not going to do a crunch anymore. It's not a pincer, pincer movement. It's like a slight flank. So it's going to be actually easier to play against that. So there's like a big change to the way 
uh, that you're able to like help with utility because Molly's pain shells and everything that deals damage through the TP is gonna be nuts when it comes to the to the actual help to showers. Like this this area is very tough to attack because let's say you have a sci-fi camera over here or you have a Kildra turret that is set up on contact here. Like all of that can be triggered and then a Molly through long B towards showers is gonna be so much help, right? But the actual TPs to make crunches are gonna be very hard to execute because I'm gonna be much easier to hold them. So it, it's a super interesting change. I love it. I, I think it was gonna make um, the, the map much different than what we have seen before. Also, remember that I will have to change my lineup because I had a lineup that was going like from here, like this, for the TP, uh, to, uh, from the, for the TP from Euro, right? It was either this or this. I had like two lineups that were going like this. I think it's actually gonna be easier to actually make it now because is a very small chance for it to like get stuck because the trajectory will be easier so yeah that's gonna be different um it's gonna be very interesting to see how this will affect the changes as well but yeah that's, this is just the first change by the way so let's let's go forward like this doesn't really change much um actually wait there was there was one big box and two small ones and now we're gonna have on whoa actually this is a big change over here this change over here like, what I was always doing is, like, going fast with the knife, jump up on the first box and then on the second to have a better understanding on how, like, uh, you know, have a better angle on the player that is picking showers from the left. This is... The timing might be actually changed now because of that. And the angle is not going to be as... as good for this attacking player to stand over here. So this is kind of interesting. But that's like a very small thing. Okay. Um, so that's the first change. Then let's go into the showers, actually. Actually, actually, into the showers. So what's the change here? The angle of this corridor is changed. As you can see. So this is... Wait. And the width of the wall is different as well. Right? Wait. Let's let's see. So this is the three changes. Okay, so that's the difference. That's the difference on 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 this wall, which is pretty huge because that opens up possibility of checking this angle. Wait, this, did this change? Let me just check. I don't think it did because I'm checking the other angle over here, but I don't think it did. Okay, so this didn't change. So, standing in this corner is still not going to be a good idea because you can be always seen by someone who is hugging the wall from the other side. Like, if you guys don't know, if you stand next to this entrance from outside of showers and you look into this direction, you will always see the feet of, of the opponent. Like, always. Every single time you're going to see the leg of your opponent. Only the shoe, like the actual shoe, but this you can always check this corner if someone is standing there. So this is not going to be changed. Uh, but the actual entrance is bigger. Look, see the difference here? Like, it's not as big of a choke point as it was before, so that's helpful. Wait, actually, actually, this is actually, that actually changes. You can actually see even clearer now this corner. Okay, never stand in this corner anymore, please. Please never stand in this corner anymore. You can, you will be so visible, it's actually kind of crazy. Never stand in this corner anymore. You will be more visible than I thought. Like, your shoe is always visible, but now with this small change, your, like, entire leg will be visible. So, don't stand in this corner anymore, okay? I mean, you shouldn't be standing in this kind of corner even on the old bind, but now it's all, all gonna be even easier, right? And, um... But... But you will be able to stand in this corner over here. But you should be able to get checked from this angle. And then the player from this side cannot really help. So, uh, it's interesting. That's, this is something that we're going to have to check um, when the game will be actually released. Like how the angles actually work. But from this angle, you should be able to see the player over here. 
so he's gonna get exposed so i wouldn't probably recommend sending on any of those corners because if someone has patience and is focused on checking corners before he actually enters uh showers he's gonna have an easier time wait did they change the windows no okay um and then in this corner over here uh because the angle is tighter it's also easier for the attacker to check this angle from here because the wall isn't as long i'm assuming like your shoulder will be visible like this area will be visible way faster than it was before so those are all interesting changes on in how you approach uh the the showers and it's gonna be easier for attackers in this case like not, not, those are nice changes like attacking showers inside of showers will be easier but attacking showers in general will be tougher like just entering like if you unranked probably not gonna apply but in pro play attacking showers is gonna be really tough because of the tp and the potential of mollies attacking here like imagine you have info someone's standing in this spot right here like and then instantly molly comes burp, and you're like uh oh what to do now so all right and then um th just the entrance right nothing else has changed here yeah i'm assuming so let me just check let me just check oops Okay. Yeah, okay, so the only thing that has changed is the actual entrance. But also, I wonder, like, how much space you have over here. Like, typically, you were able to get shot from this, and you were able to also hide. I'm not certain, like, it's hard to imagine right here. Might be a case of, if you have a phantom, your gun will be sticking out. If you look into this direction... Maybe your barrel is sticking out of the gun over here. You know, it's like there's a, there's a possibility of that happening. But we'll have to check in game. Um, let's add a hat. <laughs> anyway. Mm, no more Viper Orb? No, I, I, that, sh that, that doesn't affect it. Like Viper Orb still will be able to, uh, still will be able to like fully cover this with a one way. So this doesn't affect it to any way. Like there's so many one ways possible here. On this entrance, sure. like, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, all right, next change. Let's see what we have. So we did this and that. Okay, now on actual site. Hmm? Wait. I don't think there are any changes over here, right? Okay, so they, they added a box. A barrel. Ah, okay, so this this change makes sense because of the next one. Okay, 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 so why does this matter? Why why is this, like... This matters because of the other change. We're gonna jump back. So, as you can see here, let's talk about this first, and then you guys will understand why the barrel changes stuff. Like, the barrel is over here, in this corner, in this... Like, if you guys are new to Valorant, the barrel is over here. So they added the barrel, so you will be able to see in this area. So you'll be able to see to short. So it adds another angle for an operator to hold it and so on. Okay. Interesting. I mean, this change is crazy. Like, this is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. This, this change is unreal how big it changes the entire game because now okay so when, when we're attacking bind let's say we don't have sage right when we don't have sage and we're attacking bind um you were able to like put the smokes like this right like those are the smokes that you were making those are the ideal smokes because people are dumb and doing them like this, you know? The, the, you play with a random Brimstone, he's gonna do smokes like this, and you're like, oh, okay, well, thanks. I'm, I guess I'm not planting anymore because that's impossible. So proper smokes were like this, right? But now, because of the change of those boxes, it's not gonna be as easy because, as you can see, the angles are different. 
So, e like, mm, actually, wait. Is this going to be easier or, I mean, that really depends. So there are a few options here. Someone with an Odin is never going to let you plant in this, this area. <laughs> because he's just going to shoot through the box. Like, but not, by not being even exposed. Like, um, hmm. This is, this, this actually change is crazy because it's like good for both attackers and defenders. If your opponents don't have like, like you, you'll be able to shoot like with a Phantom of Vandal anyway, but how do we even do the, the, the smokes over here? Wait, let, let me add this. So we, there's going to be a box over here, right? This is the box. So now when we want to smoke, like you're going to have to smoke like this. This way. Like, this is gonna be your smoke right now with this box. But then if someone is... If, if you're smoking like this, then someone will have a clear way of shooting through over here, through the box, and maybe get a lucky kill. And, oh, oh my. Okay, so this is, a, this is an actual, like... This is a mystery to me. So I would assume you will actually not do the smoke if you're pushing through showers, if you're pushing through showers, this smoke is gonna be much rather probably just this. To cover the box, like, guys, remember the barrels over here, right? Like, the barrel is in this spot. So you want to smoke, over, smoke off this player as well when you're attacking. Wait, does this barrel actually mean... Oh my god, uh, we're seeing these changes in game. If the barrel's over here, do you even see over this? Dude, I am not certain now. I'm actually not certain. I guess, I mean, there has to be, otherwise there's no point in adding this barrel. It has to be this. It has to be affecting the way that you peek over the box here. It, this, yeah, this should be, okay. So yeah, th this, you see this? Um, so this lane over here and this, yeah, this this allows you, okay, 100% allows you. Like this 100% allows you to look over this, this box over here, like over here. So you definitely need to smoke it off when you're attacking from short. So two options are you either do a one way on this box over here, right? We might actually not be enough, because maybe on this angle you will be seeing still short. Oh my. Okay, this is something that we have to... Uh, we're gonna have to break down in the game. We're gonna have the bind in the game on 25th of April. This is gonna be nuts. Uh, but this is very interesting. Like, this is actual change that I'm not fully certain without actual gameplay how this will affect. Like, the way that you will be able to play over here on this, on this angle, like, is crazy. It, but it's way easier to plant if you're going from showers. Because if you're going from showers, you're able to like be a little bit more hidden from uh, from exit of lamps. Right? Not you hole, by the way. Lamps. That's what it says on the minimap. Um, so you this box helps you a lot if you're attacking from showers. So I like that much. I like that a lot. So this is nice. Those are nice changes. I really like this. Really, really, really like this. Okay, and then let's go back here. So, yeah, well, I mean, we explained the barrel, which is basically that. Uh, I wonder if your Kildred turret will work over here. This might be a nice spot for a Kildred turret. If she's going to be tall enough to see short, it's going to be pretty nice. Um, and then uh, over here, this is a small change, but a welcomed one. So... This over here, this this cubby, it was always a pain in the ass for the defenders to clear when they're going through heaven. But now, because that has changed, right? Like, you will be able to peek from heaven and see fully this? Wait, what? No. Wait, what? How does this work now? Did they just cut this short? This doesn't seem to be changed. 
So this is just added here. So it's literally like this. Wait. Is it literally like this? Let me check. Not exactly. But yes. Wait. Okay, it is like, almost like that. Crazy. Okay, that, that is actually... That is actually crazy. So, standing backside B in pot plant, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Like, if you're standing over here in this area, you're gonna get pincet from two directions. Don't stand here. Like, this is, this is pretty... I don't, I'm not sure if I like this change. Like, you, attackers should be incentivized to hold the side, but at the same time, it shouldn't be that hard for the defenders to actually rotate into side and feel like they're sh scared shitless. So maybe I like this change. But yeah, it's a def defender's um, buff to retaking, and, and yeah, that's about it. Okay. Nice change, I think. Uh, we talked about this one, now B-side. Um, Bigger exit, always nice to see. I don't think I can. I need to explain a lot of this. Uh, but also, a small change in the angle. Because the wall is removed, as you can see, you will be able to see a little bit of, a, of, the, of the actual slope. So, the defenders will be able to fight sight from being on the slope over here. Like this. This is kind of an interesting change. Like, if you're standing, for example, oh, my bad. If you are standing on B, on this box over here, you are literally just, like, you are able to see here. But now, those players over here will be seeing you, which is a big change because they're going to be able, this is actually a buff for the retake. Uh, not only because of the wide of the entrance, so you're able to like get a little bit easier uh, time to sight, but you're able to isolate one gunfight if someone will be stupid enough to stand on this box. Or even on... wait. Yeah, this is, this is, this is very helpful. This is actually very helpful for the retake. Uh, it's gonna able to like help you maybe isolate some dumb players from playing site already. So, oh, I'm gonna be mad at this when I'm gonna be playing uh, when I'm gonna be playing um, ranked. This is this is a really big help for the defenders. You know, so this is pretty nice. And then uh, let's jump to another big change, which is this one. This is crazy. This is literally crazy. Because right now we have added a new position to the post plant. You will be able to play in this area, in the post plant, depending on your character, and still be a threat. Like a huge threat by not over peaking, right? Because what happens here is, if I'm not mistaken, you will be able to bounce it to default from here there's for sure there's an angle for that depending on the utility but so but you definitely are gonna be able to do something in post plant with this window as an option to post plant right so you have to, to, to just help yourself with buying time and also with flashes flashes are not gonna be that impactful depending on the plant like let's imagine let's imagine the spike is planted backside here in this box Right? Let's imagine there. And now you're able to also put flashes for those window. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy. Um, I mean, not gonna... People would rather not plant here anyway, but... And it's kind of crazy. But when it comes to defending also, this helps a lot as well. Because if you're doing a retake, right? Let's say you're in... You're, let's say you're in this area, you're retaking from here your teammate stands your teammates are standing over here waiting for you so you clear like elbow 
and then you can throw a piece of utility for them. Right? So you can throw a molly for those angles. You can throw a molly inside of the tube. You can throw orbs, whatever. Like, I'm not saying you cannot do this from this angle as well, but you, you're able to like split your attention and, and be from different angles. And, and this is always nice. This is always nice. This is a nice, nice, um, nice change to the game. And also, I think for the defenders, like they have to be urged to go through elbow every single time because of the potential like danger of the window being a, a um, like a an uh, a catalyst for any kind of damaging utility towards the site. So if you're playing in post plant and there's a Killjoy, a Viper, or a Raze, or a Brimstone still alive, right? There's a chance he's just standing in this in this area over here and he's just waiting for you to go to site. And then he doesn't have to peek anything because he just waits for this for the for the ping on the spike and throws the first piece of utility. And now you know you're pretty fucked. Because this person over here has a fantastic way of clearing you. Like Let's let's imagine I'm Brimstone. I'm standing over here. Then I do uh then I do the molly through the window. It goes like this. Right? And when I do that, I'm standing over here because I'm gonna throw it, probably like from here. It's gonna bounce beep, beep, pop. I can rotate over here during the moment it flies. And when someone is diffusing the default plant over here. He needs to peek into this direction, right? So he's literally stepping into my angle. Because he cannot go back to sight because he's going to be dead. So uh, this is actually pretty nice. This is actually pretty nice. I, I really like the changes on Bind. And this is my favorite map. So I cannot wait for April 25th. Yeah, this is all, uh, those are all the changes. I cannot wait for the map to combine, uh, combined, come back, uh, because I love it. Uh, this is my favorite map, and I cannot wait to play on those changes. Remember to leave a comment on uh, which map do you think is going to replace. Oh, there's a small change over here that I didn't see. The angle over here has changed. Not that this matter matters much, but... Nice for the defenders. Because if you push showers, it's easier to clear this angle. Um, so yeah. Alright. Thank you for watching this Lotus Lab episode. And see you next time. Bye-bye.